So I worked in the music business for 10 years and actually the biggest problem we had was getting all of the musicians to the gigs. It would just be endless phone calls on the day from people getting utterly lost. We actually ended up employing a person on the schedule who was the guy that you called when you thought you were near, but you were actually lost. I just thought there has to be a better way that we could do this. So I was going to fix this by being the tech-savviest music producer in town. I was going to use GPS coordinates. But I realised that 18 digits and a couple of letters didn't really work with people because we had this new problem which was, Hi Chris, I'm here. I'm here. I'm not sure you are here. Well, I think I'm here. I've come to 28.169248. Ah, uh, hang on. Did you mean 84? Yes, I did. Ah. Well, I think I might be another couple of hours. So a couple of years ago, I had a cup of tea with a mathematician friend of mine. I said, we've got to find a way to do this. What we knew is we had to label the 57 trillion or so three meter squares in the world with something. And we thought about using the dictionary. We worked out that if you took a list of 40,000 words, you ended up with enough unique sequences of three words that you could label each three meter square with a three word address, like table, chair, spoon. So that's what we did, and we made a grid for the whole world. So with our app, you can now navigate to any three word combination on the planet, even if you're offline. And we've also added some error detection technology. So if you make that slight mistake, it definitely won't go to the wrong place. And this has all now been replicated in eight languages. We realized that there were many bigger implications for this. There's a UN statistic. Four billion people actually live without an address. If you don't have an address, you're basically invisible. You can't get mail, you can't be counted by your government, and it's practically impossible to start a business. But with what three words, we could enable deliveries in unaddressed cities. We could accurately label water points in rural areas for delivering aid in a humanitarian crisis and getting life-saving medicine to people in informal communities. You can say where you live, where you work. You can start to become a part of your country's economy. All of that and my musicians don't miss their gigs.